everyone, it's Nancy McNally, and today I'd like to show you and tell you about my new template. It's called Try It Out Design. Now on my template, first of all, it's 13 by 17 inches, so it's large enough for you to place directly on top of a 12 inch block. And then over here, if you can see that, this is an extra area that has rectangle shapes over here that can, that have the, on the diagonal lines of a rectangle so that you can make different types of triangles that you might find in your quilt or your customer's quilt. So what I've done is I have the very center marked as a one inch block and then it progressively goes all the way out by going with a straight line to a dashed line, straight line, dashed line from a one inch block all the way to a 12 inch. I have your center registration marks on here. I have your half square triangles and even some quarter square triangles. So the purpose of my new template is so that you can try designs out before you stitch them. All you need, well, first of all, you're gonna wanna put some painter's tape around the edge so that when you're drawing with a dry erase marker so that you don't mistakenly draw off the off of the um, the template and onto the quilt. That would be a not so good thing to do. All right, so what I've done here is I've placed the template. Now I've got my ruler plate underneath so that I have a, um, a stable base here. And I have, you can see I can have the machine right there and it basically helps to hold the, the template in place. So I sat here and I thought, I just wanna stitch in the ditch on this block right here. Let me pull this out so you can see the block without, there we go, without my template. All right, so I decided I wanted to just stitch in the ditch but I needed to figure out a design and a path. There we go. So I've aligned the dashed lines fit and that's an eight inch block. And the dashed lines where I've got it lined up are the borders of, or the, the edge of my block. So I sat with my dry erase marker and I went over and over all these different pathways. And finally I figured one out. And it was because of this that I was able to do so. So I found my starting point. Now remember, you gotta use a dry erase marker because you don't wanna use a permanent marker. So I marked my little error like I wanted to start here. So I thought, okay, let's figure this path out because I just want to stitch only in this block. As you can see, it has a frame around it. Now, if you're wanting to stitch all the way across the quilt and then come back, this will help you because you can, you can decide, well, I've got this half registration mark. You can line it right up on the half line and keep moving your template over so that you create the path to move all the way across. All right, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way down. Remember, we're just stitching in the ditch and we're gonna do some arcs so that we can go back and forth. So we're gonna stitch down and then we're gonna come up. Now, before I come back, I thought, oh, I gotta get this area too. So I do my triangle. Now, so far, no lines have crossed. Everything's good. But how do I get from here to here? We draw an arc. Now, let's come straight down. We're gonna go up the green side and we're gonna draw an arc. Now we're gonna go on the orange. We're gonna go straight. Let's do this triangle right here. And we're gonna do an arc. Draw a straight line or stitch a straight line. Come up this side of the orange, stitch an arc. Go up the blue side, get your triangle in the corner, draw an arc. Go across, now go back up the blue side stitch your arc out. Now we travel up the, um, what is that? Maybe raspberry magenta. Let's get that triangle. Now an arc. We're still not done yet. We need to stitch up here. So now we've closed this center in. <clears throat> now I could go and stitch an arc up that way, but I wanna put some arcs 
in the center just to match it. So from here, remember I was here and I drew my line here. I'm gonna go put the arcs in the center. Now I can draw my arc going up there. So basically that's the design that I would like to achieve and I'm going to stitch out. <laughs> but there's one more thing. I also want to frame it. So because of, because of, because I started right here and I marked my starting point, now I can go all the way across, come down and over and all the way back up and finish. And that is how you can create a, what is that? An edge to edge design, but it's not really edge to edge. It's in the block. It's a, it's a block design where I didn't have to um, cross over any stitch line. I didn't have to double stitch anything at all. So my template has really helped me because I was able to do this easily. And when I made a mistake, all I had to do was just use a paper towel and wipe it off and start all over again. Now, if you want to remember your pathway, if you have another color of a dry erase marker, you can come in here and you can mark your, your stitch lines. You can draw arrows or you can maybe use numbers. And, and if you can follow your numbers, then that would be a way to do it. Or like I said, you can draw arrows. So now to make that happen, I'm going to take, I'm going to place it over here so that's out of my way. I have it to refer to. It's not, it's not going to impede anything. And I just need my little ruler, my little mini ditch ruler. So let me go over here and grab that. And now we're going to stitch it out. And because I've drawn that pattern out so many times. I've got it in my memory. And that's another thing you can do. You can keep drawing it over and over and over again so that you get it in your head. Get a little saying in there in your head, a little, little ditty maybe that um, might help you to remember. I'm gonna pull this arm down just so that I can get to the button. Oops, oh, look at there. I unthreaded my machine when I did that. Pull that thread out of there. Ah, there we go. All right, so actually, I don't need that. I totally forgot. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I have these features on my machine. Okay, I'm going to use my pickup. There we go, and it pulls up my bobbin thread. And put it back in place. There we go. And now I want to go needle down. Excuse my arm. I had to get it up there somehow. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now let's remember the pathway. We're starting in that corner. We're going to go straight down. Now we're going to go up the green side, but I want to find my scissors. Aha, there they are. And I want to trim this thread. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna travel up the green. And if you've already gotten lost, to go look at your pattern that you've got on your template. There we go. Ah, okay, I have to do the triangles. All right, so my next step is the triangle. Now go across. Okay, we have finished this area. Now we need to come back down here to like the center square and we need to, we, in order to get there, let's do an arc. Okay, now we're gonna stitch across the green. Going to go back up here across the other side of the green and we're going to stitch an arc. 
Now we're back at the orange, or we're at the orange. I'm gonna go straight up. Do your triangle corner. Do an arc. Now let's stitch across. Come back up the other side of the orange. An arc. Now we're on the blue side. Let's finish this triangle here. Let's stitch an arc. Whoops, there we go. Stitch across the blue. Now let's go up the other side of the blue. Okay, now we're at the, what color is this? Raspberry, magenta or something? Okay, I almost forgot. Let's do this triangle. You wanna keep on the same path so you don't miss any of your block. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna just stitch an arc and we're gonna come down. Okay, I'm right here. Now we're gonna go all the way over, back up to the green. And now we're gonna do our arcs all in here. We're gonna finish with the arc up here. And now I can stitch all the way across. Back on there, there we go. And voila, done. Now I could have started up here and went across and came down. Doesn't matter, the block is finished. If there was a block connecting, that was the same block connecting to this one, I would have stopped midway and hopped over and continued the line of stitching so that I didn't have to break thread, go all the way across and turn back around and come back. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And this is my new try it out design template. I'll erase my marks so you can see. Isn't that neat how that turned out? I know, doesn't that look weird looking through that? <laughs> all right, let's take all of those off. There, nice and clean. There you go. Try it out design. I think this is cool. Ha ha ha. All right. My name is Nancy McNally and my website is nancymcnallyquilts.com. You can send me an email if you're interested in my try it out design template. It is not on my website as of today, which is March of 2018. I believe this is March 9th. It will be up there soon. The pre-order price is $39.99 and I think you're thoroughly going to love it. You can send me an email if you want some more information. It's nancymcnallyquilts at gmail.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day and happy quilting, everybody. Bye-bye.